Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging radical equations from Math Olympiad. It is square root 3 minus x over 3 plus x plus 1 equal to x. And we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be negative 3. Now I will take away 1 from both sides. So I can write the square root 3 minus x divided by 3 plus x equal to x minus 1. Now x is not equal to negative 3. I can cross multiply. So square root 3 minus x equal to x minus 1 times x plus 3. Now first bracket x minus 1, can we write x plus 1 minus 2? And second bracket x plus 3, can we write x plus 1 plus 2? Now x plus 1 is a, suppose b is 2, a, 2, then it is a minus b times a plus b identity or formula a square minus p square. So let's apply. I will be writing here x plus 1 whole square a square minus b square so 2 square. In LHS square root 3 minus x. So can we write 4 minus x plus 1 so that we can use substitution. Let's consider x plus 1 equal to y now. So I will be writing here x plus 1 equal to y. So our equation will become square root 4 minus y equal to y square minus 2 square so 4. Now it's turn of second substitution. I will consider let 4 equal to t. Now I can write equation will become square root t minus y. Right hand side y square minus t. Consider squaring both sides. So I will write after squaring both sides we will be having t minus y in LHS. Right hand side a minus b whole square. So I will be writing y square whole square y power 4 plus t square minus 2y square t. Now I will take all the term to RHS and I will frame one quadratic equation in t. Let's frame. So I will be writing t square minus 2y square plus 1 times t. Then I will write y power 4 plus y equal to 0. Now consider this is one quadratic equation in t where capital A, the coefficient of t square is 1. The coefficient of t which is capital B I am writing minus 2y square plus 1 and constant is c which is y power 4 plus y. Now I will use quadratic formula to find out t and t is 4. Let's apply quadratic formula first. So I will write t equal to minus b. So it will become 2y square plus 1. Plus minus under the root b square 2y square plus 1 whole square minus 4ac. So I will write minus 4 times y power 4 plus y divided by 2a. So 2 times 1, 2. Now I can write 2y square plus 1 plus minus square root. Expand a plus b whole square. a square so 4y power 4. 
plus b square 1 plus 2ab 4y square. Then I can write minus 4y power 4 and then I will be writing minus 4y. Denominator is 2. Now I can cancel minus 4y power 4 with this. Now I will be writing 2y square plus 1 plus minus. Now the term left is 4y square minus 4y plus 1. It is again one perfect square of 2y minus 1. Let's check 2y whole square 4y square. 1 whole square is 1 minus 2 times ab. So it is negative 4y divided by 2. Now square root and power will be over. So I can write 2y square plus 1 plus minus 2y minus 1 divided by 2. With plus sign I will be writing 2y square plus 1 plus 2y minus 1 divided by 2. And with minus sign I will be writing 2y square plus 1 minus 2y plus 1 divided by 2. Conclusion is about to come. t is equal to 4 I will write now. Equal to this plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out. D means in division it is 2. So I can write y square plus y here. And here I will be writing 2y square minus 2y plus 2. So y square minus y plus 1. Let's write two quadratic equations in y. y square plus y equal to 4. y square minus y plus 1 equal to 4. y square plus y minus 4 equal to 0. Here I will be having y square minus y minus 3 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So I will write y is equal to minus b. So minus 1 plus minus a square root b square is 1 minus 4ac plus 16 divided by 2. Here I can write minus b. So 1 plus minus under the root b square 1 minus 4ac plus 12 divided by 2. y equal to negative 1 plus minus square root 17 divided by 2. 1 plus minus square root 13 divided by 2. Now I will write y equal to minus 1 plus root 17 over 2 with plus sign with minus sign minus root 17 over 2. Similarly, 1 plus the square root 13 over 2. And last solution, 1 minus root 13 divided by 2. Let me write all the solution values in decimals, approximate values. So, minus 1 plus root 17 over 2. This value is approximately 1.5. Second value if I will write then it is minus 2.56. Third value is approximately 2.30. And fourth value is approximately 1.25. Now let us figure it out. What will be the condition on x? So let me write our equation as equation will become square root 3 minus x equal to x minus 1 times x plus 3. Okay, now this radicand should be positive for real solutions. So condition number 1, 3 minus x should be greater than 0. Conclusion is x should be less than 3. Second condition from RHS, RHS should be positive. So let me write this should be greater than 0. So condition will come out x should be less than minus 3 and x should be greater than 1. Now our solution in y. So let me write here y. How it will be? x less than 3. Now I will add 1 to both sides in this inequality. Now LHS is y less than 4. Condition on y. 
Similarly, this condition I will write x plus 1 is less than minus 3 plus 1 added 1 to both sides. This is y less than minus 2. Similarly, third condition I will write x plus 1 greater than 2. So, y should be greater than 2. Now, we have to find out intersection of all the three conditions on y. So, if I will find intersection, so I can write y should be less than 4 first condition and it should not lie in the interval minus 2 to 2. Otherwise, it is valid. So, we have to check solution should be less than 4 and it should not lie in minus 2 to 2. Let's check. So, let me write here the y values. It was, let me write. Here it is. Now, condition on y, let me write once. y should be less than 4, first condition. And y should not lie in the interval minus 2 to 2. So, if I will check this condition because all four solutions it is lying in this category. Every solution is less than 4. So, we will reject only those solutions which lying in this interval minus 2 to 2. So, this will be cancelled out and last one be cancelled out. So, only two solutions will be accepted this one and this one. So, I will write y equal to minus 1 minus root 17 over 2 and 1 plus root 13 over 2. We have to calculate x. So, substitution was x plus 1 equal to y. So, here I can write x plus 1 equal to this value x plus 1. Now, I will take away 1 from both sides. So, I will write x equal to equal to minus 1. So, minus 1 minus root 17 over 2 minus 1. So, it will become minus 2. So, minus 3 minus root 17 over 2. This is first real solution and second one will be minus 1. So, I will write 1 minus 2. So, it will become minus 1 plus square root 13 divided by 2. So, these are our final solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.